Now, my people, let's talk a little bit on 20th of March, 2023. Quote unquote date with destiny. Because in my opinion, most of the times, things usually are actually not what they appear to be. And I am so convinced that 20th of March was one of those most of the times. Hello there. Welcome back to my YouTube space. My name is GK. Thank you for clicking. Do make sure that you subscribe. Here we stay informed and entertained. All right? And I put it to you, my people, my country people, Wangwana, Wenzangu, wa 254, Ne Kobaya. The best thing that you can do is focus on self-development. And for that reason, let's go to PTEC. Now, allow me to interrupt your viewing to bring to you PTEC Services, a team of technology experts. And I know probably some of you want to call them geeks. What a name, because these guys are so passionate about technology and providing you the best solutions we have in the market. So committed to ensuring that technology around you is running smoothly and efficiently so that you can actually focus on what really matters, which is chasing the bug now. Are you looking for top-notch installation of CCTVs, air conditioners, TVs, all kinds of installations? Are you looking for excellent services when it comes to maintenance and repairs for your home and office appliances and electronics, computers, laptops, printers, washers, name them? Are you looking for the best technical advisory support and consultancy? P-Tech services are the best we have in town. In the 254, they have a wide range of solutions to all of your technical needs. All you need to do is visit them at Hilton Hotel, Ground Floor, Mamangina Street, Nairobi, or call them at 0710 224 -799. Or you can send them an email at info at ptech.co.ke. They also have a website. You can check out more about the company on their website. I am going to be leaving all of those details on here for you use in times of technological glitches and needs. Call them, send them an email, visit them physically, or go to their website and book yourself a free appointment. At PTech Services, your technological needs are well taken care of so that you can focus on what really matters. Ndiyo sikumuja mkuje kusema, I never told you what is the best thing to do. Just focus on developing yourself and making yourself that extra income that is going to enable you to survive because my country people, things are thick, streets are tough and nobody cares for you. I'm now, sidanganywe, okay? Now, do you enjoy political conversations? This is for us. Chime in, the comment section is yours. Let's talk about what actually happened. 20th of March. Ulikwenda maandamano? Were you present? Myself, I just followed live because I didn't want to be a part of something that I know clearly. The opposition leader is not after at 100% vouching and voting for the rights of Kenyan people. There's a lot of, the bigger picture is personal agenda. There's something he's pushing for that is going to benefit him. Kenyan people or the protesters are the tool that he's actually using. It was very evident, I think you could tell, but Kenyans are so blinded that or they in so much suffering and desperate for better times that they can't see it. But it is the truth. Let's say it as it is. There's some hidden agenda. And then things are even worse when the, the recipient of the message being sent is aware of that because he's barely going to listen. Okay? He will not even what you're actually pushing for. And so, really... That, that's the situations whether you accept it or do not accept it. It's not like South Africa where we, you would evidently see it's not about Malema. It's about building a better future for the South Africans. It's not about him becoming the next president. It's about finding solutions to the challenges they have and having a leader who actually really genuinely cares about the needs of South Africans. But in Kenya, things are different. Apparently, it is not what the common Mwananchi thinks it is. This thing has been properly choreographed in pursuit of personal interests and agendas. Okay, it was evident yesterday from the time Baba showed up for the demonstrations afternoon. Of course, we excuse him because he's a bit elderly, probably may not have energies to protest the whole day. But these other people here are people who are from the downtown Uko slums, they barely have something to eat. Why can't you communicate to them on the timings that you are going to be present for you to be able to lead the demonstrations? 
poor Kenyans. They began to protest in the morning. And then you show up afternoon. You time yote washa choka, they they barely have something to eat for lunch. And when you show up and now look like it's it's just started, it's fresh and have all that energy. And they did that. I'm sure most of them had not even eaten. Again, there was a conversation on Twitter on having uh, the opposition leaders' children available and not just having Kenyans' children protesting and his children, him leaving his children at home. We saw Winnie at Serena, but we didn't see her on the protests. Now that says something, okay? Continue thinking that these people care for you. Did you see the exit into Thika Superhighway? Uliona vile protesters waliwacho kwa mataa. Maboys wakangililia wapi? Forest Road. Wakaenda kwao. Initially we had protesters, protesters who had gotten arrested. Walilala makwao. These people have families. Did you see them to be released? Ama hawa watu walilala ndani? I would really love to know what really happened. And you are there still thinking these people care for you. Anyway, that aside. Now the government. The kind of police brutality witnessed yesterday was definitely a trigger. What did you expect? There was no way those demonstrations were actually going to be peaceful. With the kind of police brutality, security beefed up like that, like the protesters were criminals. Did you even... Nani alikuwa na juwezi gaga jeshetu inakuanga na mahosis, mafarasi? Ya? At the cannons that time, you're spraying protesters like sprinklers, like the farms. We still want peace? Forget it. Knowing very well, you've failed miserably when it comes to the promises you made to the people. Ati, now, sasa kushugulikia mahaslas, as you had promised, is now having 50 CSs in office, when we can barely feed ourselves as a nation. Dola, sai, Kenyan shilling inasome at 145. Muko na mochezo sana ata nyini. And you hear some people saying the government needs to be given more time. More time as we are heading in the wrong direction. The corrections need to be made now. How? Through demonstrations. But peaceful ones. Okay? Now. And then these politicians really enjoy it because citizens actually do not know their rights or their place. These guys are actually our employees. We pay them. What happens when an employee messes up at work? You, you summon them. You hold a meeting to streamline things. Now, Kenyans had every right to be on the street and say, we are not happy with the current government. We are not happy with how one, two, three is going. How does the government respond? By mentality, treating them like they are actually terrorists and that they have no right to speak when things actually go wrong. Again, as if that was not enough, the president has the audacity to come out and say that he's listened to the grievances of the people being raised by the opposition leader. And none of those makes sense to him. Meaning... Nothing is going to be changing. I really hope that we get to a day when we actually get to have a leader who genuinely cares for the Kenyan people. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on my next uploads.